All right, I have managed to go through this whole bed. Um, I've trimmed out all of the compromised or affected leaves here. I'm just gonna let those like break down here on the outskirts of the bed. I probably dispatched almost three dozen of these darn caterpillars. Um, and this is just two days after doing this um, in here and probably almost got about two dozen that first day. So within no time, and I am out here some days, three times a day, like depending if we get an afternoon shower, the days I work, I'm out here at least twice a day, first thing in the morning and in the evening when it's not so hot. And I all of a sudden have gotten this infestation um, you know, and it's inevitable. These caterpillars are just looking for a place to munch and a field full of delicious pumpkins. You know, they were, uh, they were bound to find it. I am going to do a better job next year of planting some trap plants. I already have the seeds ready to go for the spring. I didn't get as many to come along this year as I had hoped, so I don't have... A lot of diversity over here this is all the same variety of pumpkin other than the trellises right there no caterpillars or aphids have been on my pumpkins on the other side or my sweet potatoes so hope I didn't jinx myself but um, it's really just been these uh, Connecticut field pumpkins that they seem to love I, I have no doubt that they wouldn't love the other ones too they just haven't ventured over that way yet um, I do have like these Big Max pumpkins here and from what I'm seeing very few caterpillars in comparison to the uh, Connecticut field pumpkins um, but I do have some little guys over here that look affected and and I did pull some caterpillars off of them so um, I think those guys behind me are just a little more, more heat stressed so I don't think that they're quite as healthy as they could be um, but again, we're going to do a, a little better job of selection next year now that I have a good idea of what's growing well out here. But I was coming through this morning, not only to check on the, the caterpillar issue, but to thin the foliage. And you can probably see now compared to the beginning of the video, a lot more flowers because I wanted to come through anyway and trim the foliage canopy to expose the flowers um, so that the bees would be more likely to see them you know for pollination um, to to help improve air circulation I mean it's 90 plus percent humidity some days and we're getting afternoon showers um, a couple times a week so to help encourage airflow to reduce the risk of like fungus um, and molds I wanted to thin out the foliage and plus you know the plant can focus on the flowers and then eventually the pumpkins um, instead of just growing greenery um, all this whole area today is going to get a phosphorus um, natural phosphorus fertilizer I have um, seagull guano and it's like a 0180 so it's full of that phosphorus these are the corn I have just on the outside of the pumpkins so far not affected by the caterpillars cross my fingers hope I don't jace myself <laughs> and uh, these are the Cinderella and the fairy tale pumpkins they're doing really well I haven't had issues with again jinx knock on wood aphids or caterpillars over here I don't know why. I don't know if um, I was just able to get the soil a little bit healthier over here so the plants overall are healthier. If the variety of pumpkin is more resistant. Um, but I have a completely different kind of pumpkin back here. And they're also not getting any issues with the aphids or caterpillars and corn right back there. So I'm really happy that I don't have to go through <laughs> this side of the garden. Um, with the exception of, I I have, and I'm not exaggerating, turned over every single leaf out here at one time or another. I go through here, you know, every day and do a little section to make sure I'm getting all of the squash bug eggs and to check, obviously, for, like, caterpillars and aphids and stuff. But, um, 
As you can see, the sweet potatoes have filled in. I have an entire sea of greenery here. <laughs> awesome.